two or three zero win, and uh, you had the two zero lead at halftime, which you gave up last Friday. How did you? <laughs> what was the halftime message that? Uh, we discussed it quite a bit uh, leading up until the match, and it was one of those things for us. It was all about mentality. When you're up two zero in a match against Cleveland State, you know there was a drop. We took our foot off the pedal. There was a lack of. Uh, of uh, just overall mentality, how we're going to approach it. And so it was clear we weren't going to let that happen again uh, tonight. You came out firing the first two minutes to get a goal. How confident were you to get this victory? Uh, we were confident. We had a game plan. We uh, scouted them well. I think some of the things that we had discussed tactically uh, came off. Um, and then just application uh, was there. The guys applied it. Um, and there was an urgency and intensity about what we were doing, and it led to the goals early. About Sharif's play tonight, he, I think he had more shots. On yeah, goal himself yeah. I was looking at it myself. He had what six six shots, uh, four on uh, on goal, and from that perspective, that's awesome. That's what we need. The the guys in the attack when they get chances like that. The one thing with him, if you look at the last game we played, he had a number of opportunities. He had chances in front of goal that weren't on frame, and I discussed it with him a little bit about just being a little bit more clinical, a little bit more composed, and it clear clearly it came off better tonight. Coach, um, I know. Probably this question was already asked, but how did it feel to get your first uh, win as the head coach and also against a rival? Uh, it's it's good. It's really good. Um, I, I was alluding to this with Cleveland State. I feel like that should have been it. So it was a bad taste uh, in my mouth from that one. Uh, but this group's special. I really believe that. Um, and the win against Kentucky is just the only beginning for this group. And over a ranked opponent, too. Mm -hmm. You've had pretty big wins with the Indiana and now Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. The Indiana win in the preseason was good for our confidence. It shows that we're capable of playing with anybody. And, and we discussed this as a group is it doesn't matter who we play. If they're, you know, who, wherever they're ranked, it's all about us. And we need to take care of business ourselves. So we focus on that. Uh, and then we try to apply it. And, um, and it came off tonight. What did Vince Tyra say to you after the uh, win tonight, 3 0 win? Uh, just congratulations. You know, it's one of those things uh, as, uh, as a new head coach, he comes out and says, uh, Congrats. And that's awesome. That's awesome that he gives me that support. He's uh, had a belief in me, obviously, for the hiring. And then just overall support from him and the athletic department's been huge. Talk about uh, when Elijah got the red card. Would you? <laughs> Uh, tell the squad and how they reacted to it. Yeah, and, and again, that's a response. That's adversity. So for us, we talk about that quite a bit. Is in a situation when you're dealing with adversity, how do you respond? Um, and certainly that was an adverse situation. So, you know, tactics, we had to change. We had to apply something different. We had defended a little bit more than we uh, would have liked, quite honestly, just because the situation itself, we were man down. Um, but I, th I thought our group dealt with it w really well. Coach, with the penalty kick, uh, Luger took that in the first half. When you're going to the game, do you pre-decide if you to come up to the penalty kicks who takes it, or is that a on-the-spot type? Moment? Yeah, we had predetermined pre pre that. We had talked about it. Luca um, had been training him uh, in, tra in training, uh, and he was confident that he could step up and put him away, and it showed tonight. Thank you, Coach. Yeah.